Yo, what is up guys, Johnny Geiger here. Today I'm gonna teach you how to hard flip. A hard flip is what we get when we combine a kick flip with a front side shove. Awesome looking flat ground trick. Mwah. Name of the trick itself though is kind of suggesting that it is a super hard trick. But nowadays it's more like an advanced basic trick that's absolutely doable for everyone who is willing to put in the work. Some skaters might say either way you're a hard flip person or not. And in that case I am definitely not a hard flip person. It took me years to figure out the right technique for that trick. But nowadays I got it pretty consistent on flat and I want to share my knowledge, my secrets, everything that I found out about that trick. I spent so much time on it. So step number one is to have kick flips and front side pop shove it on lock. It's an advanced basic trick and we just need a solid foundation to work on that. All right, let's be taking a step forward. Step number two, make sure to have the right flat ground. Like this flat ground right here is a little sticky. It is not as slippery and that makes it harder to learn. Of course, ultimately you wanna be able to do it on every kind of flat ground, but in the beginning, it just makes sense to do it on slippery flat ground like the one at my part. That way you have to put in less effort on shoving the trick behind you. Now we're ready for step number three. Let's be checking out the foot positioning. Okay, I'm gonna try to be making this quick. We're gonna set up our back foot in the center of our tail. Front foot, same angle as on a kick flip, but we're gonna move it further back. Somewhere in this area, sometimes I set my toes up right to the edge of my board, sometimes like that. I guess you'll just have to try and figure out what works best for you. Now it's about to come down on the actual movement. Our back foot is gonna do that front shove and our front foot is not gonna do a straight kick flip. It's gonna go out more sideways. Just like that, we mastered the hard flip. But beware, it ain't that easy. There is a reason why it took me like 15 years to figure that trick out. One reason why it took me so long to learn that trick is because I did front top shove it the wrong way. For a long time, I had to jump back on my front shove to land back on the board. And using that technique for a hard flip is like so difficult. On a hard flip, we use the scoop. Now what is the scoop? Many skaters, me myself, have tried to explain that and it's kind of difficult. When we're talking about the scoop, I mean you push the tail like really down to the ground and shove it. It kind of reminds me of like picking up your board, like you just throw it in front of you. While doing that, we're just gonna add a little flick to the side of your board and push it down. Got a scoop. It's always kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a pressure flip, kind of tricky to learn. The easiest way is to pick up your board like that or to learn how to pressure flip and just adapt that technique to the hard flip after. That's what helped me so much in learning how to hard flip. Like I was unable to do it before I learned how to pressure flip. Usually I'd say you have like 50-50, like your weight is very balanced to build that tension, but on the scoop you have much more weight on the back foot. With that scoop motion, we'll be able to keep our board underneath our feet all the time. I usually lean back, but just a little bit. And I try not to jump back at all.
now we're actually making it to the hard part of a hard flip. It is the commitment because the board kind of goes vertical between your legs. When you start trying that trick, this is pretty scary. So we want to avoid it to get sacked at any cost. That's why we're going to do the slowest approach. Let me show you how. We're kind of going to scoop the board in front of us and we're going to try to catch it with the front foot only. Now just repeat this over and over till you get that flip every time. You just can practice this 20 times a day over a week and your chances to land a hard flip will increase a lot. Here we can also see the board is not going 100% vertical, neither 100% horizontal, it's somewhere between the middle. This is our sweet spot, the way we want to learn it. Okay, so here we are again, a week later. We've been practicing this a lot, our muscle memory has been working and it's time to finally figure it out. Moving another step forward and a really difficult step, now we gotta commit. We gotta land on it with both feet. And I know this is kinda scary, but don't lose faith and hope. The way I would recommend to learn it is not still standing, just slowly moving. That was it, following all these steps will make it possible for you to learn how to hard flip. I wish you good luck on trying that trick. Hopefully you're not gonna credit the card yourself. I hope I explained this trick well to you guys, even that hard flip is not necessarily my go-to trick. Thank you so much for watching this trick tip, for tuning in. If you want to support me, you can do this on Patreon or buy one of my pro models, link in the description. If you have any suggestion for it, if you have any suggestion for any further trick tips, let me know in the comment section. Have a great day and hopefully see you guys soon. <laughs> Nicht mal annehmen. Nicht mal Licht. Nicht mal Licht. <lacht>